Alright, hey YouTube. Southern Rebel Dipper back with a new video. Uh, something different for a change. Um, as you see, I'm not the one holding the camera. I got somebody else behind the camera. Neither here nor there. I know you see this car behind me. That's not what this video is for. If you look at the title of the video, you'll see. Got a new project. Which is unusual. I've never done anything like this, but eh, heck with it. I figured, hell with it. Do something different for this channel for a change. But today we're gonna go ahead and throw ourselves a lip of Stoker's Fine Cut Natural in. And so, yeah, the truck. Well, the vehicle that we're gonna be working on, we're gonna be doing a video on today, is actually my new truck. It's gonna be a project for us. folks she's in some rough shape uh, it is a 91 uh, Chevy Silverado as you see <laughs> Silverado 1500 single cab as you see folks she does need some love needs to be bent maybe this new bent side well, both sides that is um, doors are not original to the truck uh, those are actually Seven liter 350 and motors pretty much on its last leg. So that motor is going to be getting out of this Maybe getting rebuilt depending on how severe. It's got a crack, crack in the block. I'll probably just scrap the motor, but I don't think there's going to be a crack in the block. I'm going to try to salvage as much pieces off of this motor as possible and this will be the third engine going into it in her lifetime she's, like I said she's 91 she's old she's grumpy she earned it though I mean vehicle age is about like a horse um, she's gonna have to get a new hood just this hood pin here doesn't like to release off of this hood latch this foot latch is being a pain in the ass, so. I don't know, I may keep the foot and just replace the latch. Probably. We'll see as time goes on. Oh, yeah. And of course, folks, my drug of the day is the Federer Camo. Um, as you guys can see, I don't have the grill on it. The grill's sitting over there with the floor tender. I need the bumper, the dead light assembly. Equally you're running in the back now. This truck. That's the uh, camera that I took. But as I said folks, I bought this truck mainly. I bought this truck <coughs> as a product. Um presently. Um she's not in the condition I wanted her I want her in. Because as I said folks, I like I don't like the power windows and locks. So I'm actually planning on changing those out to manual windows and manual locks. Um, but if we can back and come over here for a sec, we get got the interior. And forget the mess, folks. Some stuff I just have thrown in here. Three-quarter bench, front seat, which that's going to be definitely getting changed out. Carpet floor again, something else that's getting changed out. Burgundy dash, that eh, might get changed later on. Uh, headliner's already coming apart. Um, sliding rear window on the back. And as you guys see, there's a wire going through that window. The camera guy can get a shot of that. 
That's my blue light. As you guys know, it was on my uh, Mitsubishi. But I figured to give you guys a walk around tour of my, my Silverado that I'm going to be working on. Uh, if you can't, and this is the other uh, quarter pan, a quarter side of the bed. It's pretty rough, so I'll probably end up just swapping the bed sides out. Um, this way, I don't have to take the bed off of the truck. I might be able to get away with that. I might not. It's really hard to say. Um, but of course, when I got the truck, it was chock full of tires and trash. The grill and the quarter fender that are sitting over there were actually in the bed when I got the truck. I had to actually have a flat bed down from where I got it. And if you guys want to know what I paid for it, I will tell you once this project is fixed and on the road. I'm not going to divulge that information at this time. But, as you guys see, she has a full 8 foot bed. I love these types of these types of uh, tailgate hinges. These are amazing. They actually are much sturdier than your traditional tailgate cable. Uh, I do have the handle for the, the tailgate latch for this section. I am going to get it. I am going to be putting it on at some point. Uh, it, it, the, I actually had my towing company. Uh, I, actually, I, I went through my towing company that I work for presently to get this flat bedded down. I got tired of sitting. I got myself and the camera guy. I got sick of fighting with it. Trying to get my fucking car out. Especially with two flat rear, one full flat rear tire on this side. And one that was almost three quarters of the way, if not halfway flat, on the passenger side. Mm. But, I digress. Um, when I got the truck, it did have a tow, pack, a tow hitch on it. Um, I took I the tow package is there. The receiver is in there. Well, as you see, it's underneath. And I do have a new tow ball. It's a tri, uh, it's a tri ball. I'm sure you guys may have seen it sitting on the seat. I actually went out and bought that myself. And that tow ball was going to be being used on this truck over here in Toyota to tow the Silverado. I'm sure you guys will like this. I hope you guys do. But this is a project. This is the project vehicle that we're going to be working on. I've already got plans for it. I've already got plans for what motor I'm dumping in it. I've got a bunch of other things thought out. Um, I am going to be keeping the sliding rear window on the in the truck, but I am going to be replacing the current one, the existing one, most likely. The bedsides have to be replaced. There's no getting around that. I'm probably going to end up keeping these pieces just so I have them. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep this, probably not gonna keep this chrome here piece on the bedsides because I'm just not a fan of that. Um, you guys wondering where the dent came from? <laughs> we'll discuss that on a later date. Uh, that'll get explained later on, probably the day we go to take the quarter panel off the bedsides off. Because as you see, there's a boatload of rust here. It's rotted the hell and back. I got no gas cover door. I'm not a fan of that. I prefer to have one. So that's why the bed side, the bed sides are getting replaced. But when this truck is done, where it can be driven, I'm just gonna drive it as it is when it's done. Of course, none of the body panels will map right away. But over time, as I continue working my main job, I am going to be getting new paint. I'm going to put a fresh coat of paint on it. Brand new paint, too. Um, I am going to stick with the uh, two-tone. But the main paint, like up here, is not going to be this shade. It's not going to be red. 
the interior is getting changed, as I said. The burgundy red interior is coming out of the truck. Um, and this tan goldish uh, two-tone right here, that's going to be getting changed. Because I'm actually going a different route. Um, and our mileage on the truck, for those of you who are curious. Okay, let me get the camera in here. Okay, let me put that down. Our, our mileage on the odometer is... 173,655. That is our mileage on this truck presently as it sits. Uh, yes, folks, you did see that the key is in the ignition. That key will not come out. The ignition is all fucked up. So, I have to get, I have to pull, I have to, I'm going to have to pop the ignition switch all together and replace it. As you guys can see, though, when I was meeting with the headliner, it's coming down. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be a first thing to change on the inside. Other than maybe, other than the seat, obviously. Now, the shade, the color that I'm going with, that shade of blue. Yes, it's on a Broncos hat. Yes, folks, I'm a Broncos fan. You can badmouth me all you want. I don't give a fuck. And I'm probably going to put that shade of orange as the uh, two-tone, as the secondary paint, where the two-tone is. The steering wheel, it's going to be staying. Probably going to have to get a new uh, um, column piece, because when I go to shift it, the needle on the for the automatic transmission does not move don't really have much for, as far as we're adjusting the uh, climate control yet I do plan to I have to get new obviously um, no head unit as of right now there will be when I'm done because I'm gonna be putting this truck back to a factory um, as this truck would have came out of the factory as you folks have seen on the side of the bed, this truck is four-wheel drive. Transfer case is here down on the floor. I love I love having the four-wheel drive aspect. Um, rear view mirrors here, here in the truck. It's just under the seat right now. I am gonna have, there's a lot of work in it. You're gonna, you're gonna have to go into this truck. But um, with that said, folks, um, we're going to break off of here. Oh, real quick, folks, uh, before we do break off of here and cut this video, um, if you got, when you got, uh, I'm sure you guys are wondering, what are you going to do with these, with the mirrors on the door? Don't worry, folks, the mirrors are going to be stained. I am going to keep these mirrors because I actually like the mirrors. So, these mirrors, am I going to take the, the, blue doors off I am gonna be keeping um, I, I like I like these doors, so with that being said folks I wanted to introduce you to the new project this is it this is what I got to work on. myself and the camera guy are gonna be the ones filming are gonna be the ones working on the vehicle um, hopefully if I uh, get everything set up to get all the parts, the, all the necessary parts to get this vehicle on the road. Um, I'm also going to try to get a better camera and a better setup at, in all honesty. That way when uh, the, camera, the guy behind the camera and I are working on the truck, we can still be, uh, there will be still video, truck videos for it. So that's our goal. The ultimate goal with this the goal is to get this truck up and running, drivable. And I'm not going to part with it. So don't, don't even ask me if I'm going to sell this truck. This is not going to be for sale. Not at any price. So, with that said, folks, take care. We'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you on the dip side.
southern river out.